it's me, Kia. And girl, let me tell you all about 23andMe. Kia's calling. So I did a 23andMe test and my results are finally back. If you're not familiar with 23andMe, basically it's a DNA test that gathers information as far as your ancestry, your DNA relatives. It kind of gives you an idea of health conditions you may be prone to based on your genetics. And it also gives you some trait characteristics based on your DNA, which I don't know about them because I was reading some of the traits that it was saying that I had and I was like, that's a lie. That's a lie. So they have different packages. I ended up going with the basic package for $100. And honestly, I really just wanted to learn more about me and kind of have an idea of where I'm from. So the past couple of years, really, I've been on like this journey of self-discovery and kind of trying to be more in tune with myself, get to know myself a little bit better. I started therapy, like I mentioned in another video and really just wanted to get more insight on my triggers and why I am the way I am. Why do I react to things a certain way? Because I feel like once you are a little bit more in tune with yourself and can recognize areas within yourself that you need to heal from, you will be just better at nurturing yourself and loving yourself and giving yourself that much needed grace that you need. So. Yeah, all this, this 23andMe is, is a part of that self-discovery journey that I'm on right now. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent, but I took the test and my results came in about two weeks. So this is the box that it came in. I ordered it online from the website, which I will be sure to link below. And it arrived in about a week. As you guys can see, it comes with an instruction manual with just a little page showing you the different you know, collection tools inside. Um, some more instructions. You do have to register your kit and, you know, it kind of walks you through how to do all that. There's an app you can download or you can go straight from the website. I ended up going through the app, uh, which is pretty easy to navigate. Um, you can't eat or drink for 30 minutes prior to taking the test. I really don't know why they do that, but just keep that in mind when you're doing your test. And you have to spit. So <laughs> they have like a collection tube and you have to spit in it. That's how they gather your DNA. And at first I didn't really know how to do it. So you'll see later on in the video, I have to go back to the instructions because I thought I had to, you know, do a lot of spitting, but it's really not that much. And the good thing about the box is it comes with a return label, so don't throw it away. Um, once you're done with your collection, you literally just seal it back up and you can drop it off at the mailbox for free, which is super convenient. I'm like the worst spitter. Oh, it's actually smaller than I thought. It's like right there. Take this off. Daddy? And then we seal it with the 
this little thing. Mm, that would be the wrong way. This way. Okay. And then we. Let's go back and read the instructions in case I'm confused. on the cap and then oh shake the tooth across against okay so put it in here put it in here okay and then it closes down This comes off. Okay. And then it closes down. Like so. And then you ship it in the box. So here's my box. Got a little return service. So. Return the steel plastic bag and the original box, peel the strip and seal the box closed and ship. Got it. Simple. So they send you email updates as far as like where your sample is, what stage it's at. And y'all, when I got my email saying my results were back, I don't know why, but I just got like super nervous for some reason. I don't know, I was nervous opening it, but I was also really excited to see like where I'm from. So apparently I am, drum roll please, 76.3 Sub-Saharan African and 19.7% European. So this is my health portal, my ancestry composition, pretty much a breakdown of everything that makes up me. So like I mentioned, Sub-Saharan African, West African, 60.5%, Nigerian, 29%, Ghanaian, Senegambian, broadly West African, Congolese, Angolan, some of these I don't even know like how to pronounce them clearly. But yeah, and then 19.7% European, um, Northwestern Europe, and British and Irish. Irish! I'm Irish, y'all! I don't know what kind of accent that was. <laughs> but yeah, East, A East Asia, only 1.8, which I'm really surprised. I thought it would have told me I was a little bit more Asian. Just because, like, if you look at my kids, their eyes are really slanted. My eyes are kind of slanted, but... Anyways, these are like the traits that they were talking about that they kind of predict based on your DNA. So some of these, I was looking at them, I was just like, mm, I don't know about that. I think there was one, let me see which one was it. But yeah, they literally give you like so many different traits based off of your DNA, your finger length ratio, like what? <laughs> The package that I got didn't come with the health data and honestly I might go back and upgrade just to see what health conditions I'm prone to based on my DNA. I don't know, we'll see. So here it goes, it was the stretch marks. Like they said 81% I'll have stretch marks and I thought that was really weird how high of a percentage that was and I didn't get stretch marks with my kids. Well I didn't get them on my stomach, I got them on my hips. And then it said 46% I have a little bit of a unibrow, like what? And then 80%, I will not have a widow's peak. And that's just such a high percentage and I definitely have a widow's peak. So I just thought that was really interesting how they calculated this and all these traits. If you guys enjoyed this combo, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you wanna learn more about 23andMe, be sure to check the description box below where I'll link the website. Thank you so much for watching and I will call you later. Toodles. Subscribe!